I compare items. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in this weapon. And we're going to just clear the tag on that. Oh boy. Okay. Now, after we've cleared those tags, what have I done? We're going to go ahead and just eliminate I don't want to filter 300 items, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of 157 of them. No, it's not dupe. We're going to go ahead and tag those as key. The next thing we're going to do is type in not tagged is weapon and that's going to give us the inverse of that so we're going to now show all items uh, so I've identified a problem here what we're going to do now is type in is blue and we're going to tag those mass as junk We'll go back and we'll know that those blue items are gone now. So now we can just simply go through here and we're just going to start mass tagging them. So right off the bat, this annual skate, mm, outlaw multi kill clip, I'm going to keep that. I am not really excited about slide shot dragonfly, so we're going to junk that. I know time payload, a lot of people do like using it. Um, I'll test it, but honestly, it's the first thing I delete after looking at it. And for Archon's Thunder, so you might look at this and say, okay, quick draw snapshot, that's a great PvP roll, but just because of the RPM of this weapon, I wouldn't ever use it, so I'm going to go ahead and junk that. I do like this the idea of Mulligan Rampage though, so I'm going to keep that. And I don't know why Dim is being so slow. Uh, we're going to look at Bad Omens next. So for this, it has Genesis. If we look at all of the other rockets I have, I know I have a Genesis Demolitionist role. So I'm more excited for that for output. You can you have more output if you if you shoot the rocket first, get the break, you get Genesis to proc, you'll get another rocket, you shoot that rocket, you throw your grenade, you shoot another rocket, you get three rockets in a row. So I'm more excited about that than I am the bad omens role. So Yes, it is my only other Genesis on Void, so that is something to consider, but I it just doesn't excite me, so I'm going to chuck it. Quick Draw Snapshot, that is also potentially useful. Um, just because drawing the rocket sometimes can be really slow so but again i i wouldn't use this in pvp i would use probably you know like word cliff or ascendancy you know i'm just not excited by this i'm gonna get rid of that too and wait ten thousand years for them to respond for some reason so for brass attacks, um, it's almost a duplicate roll, right? We got basically the only defining feature between these are the fact that this has frenzy, this has rampage, and then you have the option between high cal and armor piercing. For me, the thing that draws me to this weapon is the fact that it does have armor piercing. 
which I can use for anti-barrier on um, you know, solo content or GM content. Um, and just with the damage output of a sidearm, I don't think I'm going to keep Rampage up 100% of the time to be able to have effect on that champion like I would with Frenzy, because if I get hit or if I'm shooting, I'm going to maintain that damage up time. So I would value Frenzy over, over Rampage. So I'm going to Drunk Rampage. Also, I have the choice between these two. So I'm going to keep that one. For Braytech Werewolf, I've already actually noted this one. Um, fleet, once you get an armor piercing on a Vorpal. So, what the idea here is, I think this is the best role you could possibly have for GM content on this weapon if you had armor piercing rounds. So, once I get this roll with this perk over here, I would delete both of these and just keep that one. But until then, we're going to keep both because this is a good PvP roll and this is a great PvE roll for now. And this is not typically how fast Dim is. I don't know why it's being so slow. Um, let's close that maybe. For Cartesian, um, this is the only role I'm ever going to use. One could, you know, pull their hair out saying this is a good role, and it is, but I'm never going to use it over this one. Yeah, this is a good PvP role, absolutely, but I'm never going to use it over this one. So it's an easy junk. And I think I'm going to do this later, honestly, because uh, Dim is just being really slow for some reason. Maybe if I reload Dim. There we go. Alright. So for the Chroma Rush, I already know I like both of these rolls. This one, the reload speed on it is insane. When you get times five Fusing Frenzy with a reload masterwork, it's just crazy fun, but Subsistence Rampage is always a good combination. Subsistence is one of my favorite perks on autos. For Chrysera Mellow, I've noted this one already, Test Before Junking, just because I don't know that, you know, Harmony intrinsically for me you know it's a swap perk so what am i going to use an auto rifle for i'm going to be using it for either stunning or breaking a gm champion i'm not going to use it as my burst weapon so that means for me to get value out of harmony against the champion i'm going to need to get a kill with my burst weapon because i'm swapping to my burst weapon from my my barrier break. So if that's the case, maybe I'm using it for ad clear. This is nice. It has, you know, it's the max range out of all of them. And it has a range master work. So, but it's just the archetype right now is pretty weak. Um, so I, I will test it, but I would delete that one. Um, although honestly, it's probably one of the best rolls you could get potentially. Yeah, I mean, a la multi-kill clip, and then fourth times Harmony, fourth times Thresh, fourth times Dragonfly, maybe. But, like, you know, it can't get, it can't get Armor Piercing, and I have Summoner. So, the identity crisis of this weapon is just too good, great for me to care, and then, like, Heating Up Frenzy, God Tier perk combination... Um, on most autos, but with the loader rate of fire of this weapon, I don't really care to have better accuracy and stability because it's already shooting where I want it to, so like I don't really care. Firefly I might keep, but I already have that on my Arctic Haze. Now that is a higher rate of fire weapon, you know, so I, I don't know. I, 
I think I'm going to go with that for now. The goal is to not leave any of these untagged. So for the Code Duello, I think this one's just intrinsically better. It's got impact casing uh, for increased damage on direct hits. It's got impulse amplifier for faster hits, and then it has chain reaction with a blast radius masterwork. Like those all just feed into each other. Now, quick draw is of course a good PvP perk, but I I just don't see myself using this as a PvP weapon, so I'm just going to infuse that into the other one. For the commemoration, uh, I, I like both of these. Surplus is just a great perk. It just will improve your base stats overall. It'll give you um, the handling reload speed is really good. Stability, not really concerned about with the adaptive frame. Firefly is also very fun on these style of weapons, and it, it's a contender in BVP. Right? For the contingency plan, this one's a sleeper, right? Like. It's not good because of its handling. It has an incredibly low handling base if you don't get the right perks on it. But I, I feel like I have a pretty good one here. You know, it's got um, handling mass work, and then we can bump that stability with either one of these. Um, what happens if we put a counterbalance on it? doesn't really go where you want it to, but it has Tunnel Vision and Frenzy. Both of those are going to work together to bring that handling and that accuracy up, so I'm going to keep that one. And then again, Subsistence, Frenzy, they kind of feed into each other. You're keeping that up time. Um, I would keep that one too. The problem is this weapon is really dependent on its barrel and its mag perks, which is hard to manage sometimes. The corrective measure, um, I love rewind rounds, and the fact that it has high impact reserves and rewind rounds is really fun. This one's also a fun one, but I don't use it a lot. So for this one, I think I changed my mind on this one a couple times. So the Darkest Before, crazy PvP weapon. You see it a lot in um, Six Man, you see it in Trials. So off the cuff, I feel like this is my PvP one, right? It's got range, it's got high caliber rounds, it's got quick draw. The only thing about Darkest Before is it has the high armor piercing rounds. I don't really like the one for all perk. It takes too much to upkeep. So if we compare it to my other weapons I have, I already have an armor piercing rounds disruption break, so I'm okay with junking this, even though it's you know it's a crazy weapon. Um, the other role is just better, in my opinion. For my dead man's tails, um, I don't want to junk any of these until I've actually installed the masterwork here. Um, whoop. So I'm just going to keep those. For my death adders, um, again, I, I know I'm kind of going on a tangent with disruption break and armor piercing rounds, but I really value these perks because, you know, this gives you increased damage on your on your kinetic weapons for all players, and that applies in PVE, PVP. It also applies just as well in you know GMs with barrier champions. So. When SMGs are for barriers, that's good. This is also a good PvP role. Just moving target, dynamic sway, they feed into each other really well. Um, for my empty vessels, this one took comparing to my other energy grenade launchers. And the, one could make the argument that you could delete these outright, except for the fact that you need to think about Affinity. So I actually used this one in GM recently for blinding nades, and the main shield type was solar. So I used this one. Now, if I could just combine this one and this one, that would just be the perfect situation. But as it stands, you know, you want to have an auto loading 
disruption break or an auto loading blinding or whatever and essentially you want a disruption break you want a genesis so unfortunately I feel like my hand is forced to keep all of these just for affinity's sake and again the same thing if we compare our scouts um, rapid hit is one of my favorite perks in the entire game Disruption Break, as we've already established, is also a really popular perk that I like. If you look at all of my scouts, the only one that comes with Disruption Break is the Eternal Blazon. So that one's an automatic keep. Rapid Hit Kill Clip. Great combination. Love it. I don't have a lot of weapons with Thresh, so we're going to keep that one too. Um, my turn is edge. This one is a dupe, so we're gonna get rid of that one. Uh, we didn't tag that, so we'll keep that. Um, the extraordinary rendition. I've heard so many people tell me that overflow is an incredible perk. I don't get a lot of use out of it personally, so for me, that is what would make me want to get rid of it. However, it does have really good stats across the board. And that alone, I mean, look at that. Even if I if I move the barrel perk over, it still has some of the best perks, like stats across the board. So just for that, I'm going to keep it. And then Outlaw Multi-Kill Clip, great. And Outlaw Frenzy, like, I would want to test this one. But th I think out of the three of these, this would be the one I would get rid of. So for my Eyes of Soul, the thing you have to remember is that when some items get sunset, you still get to keep their perks. So for two of my rolls, I have sunset perks, um, which means I don't want to get rid of them. So my box breathing roll, my opening shot roll, can't roll anymore. No distractions, I don't have any other weapons with this on, so I'm going to keep those. For Killing Wind, one can make the argument that this is a god roll because it gives you that increased stickiness on your kills but you have to remember that's a kill perk so you have to get a kill already with the sniper and then the perk procs so what do you do with it you know i i will not pretend that i am incredible at sniping so for me i don't care about this I'm going to infuse it. If you're a god among men with snipers, that perk might work for you, but not for me. So, for the far future, um, I feel like, you know, obviously these quick draw opening shot, it's your bread and butter of snipers. For a lot of good snipers, slash our opening shot is probably like S tier. For me, I don't care. Uh, I'm going to junk it. For this one, it's a PvE roll across the board, and I have Achilloses that are god rolled, so I don't care about that, so I'm going to junk that one. My Fractifists, I am looking for a better one, but right now I do like both of these. This is my max range one, and this one has Harmony. So when you're doing double Harmony, that's kind of cool. Um, I noted this one, what does it say? Trash once you get a better snapshot. Okay, I mean, just the stats across the board are really nice, so I think that's why I said keep it. And then just the fact that this is purple, obviously, it's nice. So I'm going to keep that one. For Oculus hand cannons, um, so hand cannons sit in a pretty interesting place with subsistence, right? Because the smaller your magazine, the, the ratio of bullets returned is usually higher in comparison to the magazine, so you're actually going to get a high rate of return from subsistence on hand cannons. That being said, I'm not going to use this weapon because I'm not going to get that much out of Vorpal Weapon because it's not going to proc against red bars. Subsistence is going to be something that I'm going to be using against red bars. 
Corporal Weapon is going to be used only on champions, gold bars, bosses. So for this, and guardians, sure, you could make the case, but I'm not going to use this weapon in PvP because I, I'm just not. Um, so a better argument for a Vorpal Roll would be triple tap because you're going to be able to keep shots on target for longer. Even though you're not getting the kill, you're still getting bullets back. So I would keep this one. I would, whoops. Uh, what do I do? Bring that back. Um, I would junk this one, and I'd potentially keep this one. If I had to get rid of one of these, or only keep one, I would probably keep... I'd probably keep this one. Hmm. I guess Vorpal is a little bit more helpful. Eh, it depends. We accidentally closed out of that, so let's open it back up again. So interference six. Um off the cuff, I feel like the first one is better. Because it comes with a larger magazine. Well, actually, hold on. Ah, never mind. So, Clown Cartridge is cool. What's the reload looking like? The same, 46. So, this is going to let you hold more. This is going to let you overload. So, that has a blast radius, that has a velocity. Both are good. I feel like... Between the two, my initial thought is this one is better, but I think I want to keep both. So for the Aculo shotgun, the problem I have with this is I just don't like the archetype. Now trench barrel is, it's a perk I don't have a lot of. Uh, if we go to if we search it, right? I only have three. So the one we already just saw from the planted trench. Um, avoid dual loader, which I, I don't like dual loader. And then an auto-loading trench barrel. Auto-loading is my favorite on shotguns. It's not a slug, so you do have that. Um, but I don't... I don't like this weapon. I'm gonna get rid of it. I should have copied this. So we're back here. Now, Pulse Monitor did get a buff. It does go ahead and reload your ammo when you get critically wounded, and then it has disruption break. That is cool. I don't think I value the perks very much. And, I mean, this is a good roll too. They're both. See, yeah. one can make the case to keep this, but I feel like I would use Dead Man's, or Sojourner's, sorry. Sojourner's with, can this get, what, is, what can this get? I can get all loading, so I'm going to hunt for that and not even worry about this. And then I'll keep this one just to have one. But I just don't like this weapon. And Kilo Snipers are both god tier. I love them both. Triple tap, disruption, and box breathing, and then fourth times high impact. Those are both just really fun. Seraph rounds. It's a bummer that it drops you down to five. What does it give you if you put on magazine perk? It brings you up to seven, so you could keep it. You wouldn't get anything out of that, so 
uh, you know, you have to see what that does to your damage by taking off boss back, but Seraph Rounds is nice. I'm definitely keeping both of those. Um, these, these hand cannons I have not played with. I know that the community really likes them, um, and all of these are really good rolls. So, you know, Outlaw Rampage, Rabbit Head Opening Shot, both good combos, and then Killing Wind, Elemental Capacitor. You can do a lot with Elemental Capacitor, so I like all of those. Now, Imperial Needle, it's a lightweight bow, right? So you don't actually gain benefit from combining Elastic String and um, Draw Time Masterwork. They don't coincide. Um, because there's an actual cap on draw time for lightweights, just because by their nature they have a shorter draw time than, say, precision frame, and so on. Um, so that being said, the, the best thing you could possibly hope for after draw time would be accuracy. So I'm as close to as I'm going to get, unless I got a fiberglass arrowhead, on this one. This is absolutely my god tier. Um, now, I... I don't know, but I'm fairly certain even with Swash times 5, a lightweight frame bow cannot one hit. So I'm okay with getting rid of this one. Now this is almost a dupe of the first, except it has a handling masterwork with both elastic string, fiberglass, and impulse with frenzy and Thresh. So I actually really like that one. This one is a dupe of this one, except it has a worse masterwork because of the reload. Reloading only affects how fast the arrow knocks to the bow itself, not how fast it takes to draw the bow back. Because of that, we don't really care. So we'll infuse that into one of the other ones. The Aerodidochronus, um, it kind of has an identity crisis in that Cartesian exists. And yes, it is a high impact, so it's going to do more damage, quote unquote. But rapid fires, it's, I just feel like, I don't know. I don't see the need to have heating up frenzy on it. I might keep this one, just because, you know, that is a cool cool combination. For Jurassic Green, I mean, the perk pool, there's a lot you can do with it, right? The handling is too low, so you need something to boost that handling, right? So, you know, Fluted Barrel on this one. That one just has a minus. So the problem is handling, and then the next is range, right? So Adrenaline Junkie is about to get a buff, so I'd want to see what that does, just because Adrenaline Junkie is going to get a buff. Heating up multi-kill equip, that sounds fun. Range finder, sure. <sighs> see, the problem is I want to, I want to try all of these. I don't necessarily like a lot of them. Aim down side speed, accuracy and stability, vertical recoil. So, I mean, I just, I'd honestly delete most of these. I really would. Um, I'm going to keep this one because Adrenaline Junkie is going to get buffed. I'm going to keep this one just because it's the only one I have that has Range Finder. And then between these two, I would need to test Tunnel Vision versus Heating Up. It's just the handling. The handling is so poor.
This doesn't even boost handling. You know what? No. We're, we're getting rid of that. The handling is too poor on that one. Last Perdition. I love this weapon. Um, I almost love Snapshot Outlaw more than I like Kill Clip Outlaw, but we're going to keep both. Because I just, I just love this weapon. Legal Action 2. So, Surplus, Wellspring, they go hand in hand. It's a nice combination. This does also suffer from poor handling. Um, Killing Wind, Rampage, that's really going to help this weapon. So we're going to keep that one as well. Um, I'm so close to the god roll on these. This is obviously a fun one. Rapid hit, explosive, that's cool. Um, memory Interdict, there's actually a good roll of this right now at the Gunsmith. Um, obviously auto-loading holster on a grenade launcher with spike nades is always going to be good. Blast proximity nades for PvP, always fun. Uh, I like that one, and this has been my go-to for PvE for a while, so I'm going to keep that as well. Obviously, this is one... My wish lists are actually um, customized. I don't use the curated ones from Dim. I actually import my own, and I can show you guys how to do that in another, in another video, but obviously I'm going to keep this one, and this one is also very fun. Um, so, for punching out, I would keep this one because Adrenaline Junkie is going to get a buff. I would keep this one because that combination. I don't really need this. Yes, would this help me in situations that I'm using a sidearm? Yes. But... I don't know, man. I want to delete two of them. Which ones would I get rid of? Aimed on sight speed after and increased target acquisition after killing a target. You bonus damage and three or more enemies are in close proximity. So. Yeah, that's cool. I don't want those situations to happen though. This one is fun. I think I will keep that one. And I'll come back to it later. Reads Regret. Triple tap with Firing Line. That's obviously going to keep that one. Um, this is the one I have right now. It has Harmony, so I'm keeping that one just because it's my only Adept. Clown Cartridge Firing Line. With a reload master, that could actually be good. I wonder what that looks like when you boost it. Can you? Hmm. Well, I don't think I would use it over the other one. I don't think I would. Especially if I can boost this magazine size. Can you? You cannot. I'm going to infuse that one anyway. Moving on. Retro Futurist. So, we kept this one because we didn't like the Aquilos. Where's the hot tub? Um, I don't know. I don't have one. That's okay though. Um, so we didn't get rid of this because we got rid of the Aquilos shotgun. So we're gonna keep it just because of that. Um, 
One can make the argument for one for all, but I don't like this weapon. I could see you going on a spree with this. You know, get pulse monitor proc, get PvP, it reloads for you, you kill somebody, you kill somebody, you kill somebody. It would make a great clip, but I'm not going to use it, so I'm going to abuse it. I don't have a lot of thrash weapons, so I'm going to keep this one as well. Um, I don't use shotguns enough to care about this having swashbuckler, though it does have assault mag, which is nice. So I'm trying to actually clean my vault, so we're going to get rid of that one. You guys can let me know if I made terrible mistakes later on. So, Scathelock is one of the few weapons that can roll osmosis. Um, so for me, I use this almost every day whenever I do solo content, so I favorited that one. This is a fun PvP roll, I'm going to keep it. So, Servant Leader, I hate looking at this weapon, uh, just because the handling is just so low. And so, uh, we're going to keep this one just because Adrenaline Junkie is getting buffed. Oops, I pressed the junk button. Oops, pressed the favorite button. Um, this is the clear winner for me. Killing Wind, Frenzy, you get increased handling on a kill, you get increased handling on being in combat. Handling Masterwork, for me, that is the clear winner. Um, Outlaw Kill Clip, you know, it's your bread and butter. We need to delete one, though. The problem is, what does this say? Trash after a different Harmony roll? So yeah, same with Harmony, right? You get seven seconds of bonus damage. So, you gotta kill with your, with your other weapon, probably a burst weapon. If you're using a scout in... PvP, you're probably using either a shotgun or maybe a sidearm or a fusion rifle, right? So now you switch over to servant leader, and are you gonna are you gonna clear your mag in seven seconds? Are you gonna get enough kills to give you back ammo in seven seconds? Yeah, it's okay, but like, what would what would I pair with harmony, right? I would rather pair it with fourth times, because that's giving me ammo back with that damage boost. But just getting kills to get ammo back, that's not helping me. So I'm going to keep it for now because it's the only one with harmony, and we haven't cleaned a single one of these at this point. Fourth times Rampage. Now see, I wish we could just swap these roles, right? Put Subsistence with Rampage, but fourth times with Harmony, and we've got a good gun. But that's not what we have. Rampage gives you benefit for getting kills. Fourth times gives you benefit for getting shots on target. Um, yeah, technically getting a kill in that window still counts, but they kind of act against each other. And just with such low stats... You just, you can't really make a case for it. You just can't. You know, like, what does it look like? Let me put this on. I don't know. Maybe. I want to delete one, at least. They all seem nice, and they all seem bad at the same time. My gut instinct is this one, but they're buffing Adrenaline Junkie here, yeah, I don't want to play around with it. I don't think I'm going to get use out of this one. Uh, this is the curated role, actually. We're going to keep that one. Shares Wrath, uh, Quick Draw Snapshot, Heat and Harmony, we're going to keep both of those. Those both work really well together, and I don't have a lot of them. Shepherd's Watch, okay, another one of the weapons that have osmosis, but... Um, if we look at all snipers, you can scroll over to my six 
session also has osmosis. So do I need this one? This only has three bullets, but it also has reconstructions. So the benefit versus succession is I get an extra bullet and I get outlaw, right? But, oh, and I get 100% recoil reduction. But again, I don't use snipers very often. You're not going to miss shots in PvE as much as you do in PvP. So, which one do you use? Both of these are fun PvP rolls. I don't snipe very much. And what does it get boosted to when you mag it out? Five. What does a mag dot one get boosted to when you mag it out? Seven. So my PvP one has a better mag perk than my PvE one does. And when I mag out succession, does succession even take a mag? Can it? When you mag out succession, it gets four. So if you mag out succession, you get base what you get on the shepherd's watch. On this roll, anyway. This is adaptive. That's aggressive. So succession is going to do more damage. So when I'm trying to get... Yeah, we're going to delete this one. We're going to keep this one. And we're going to keep this one. Sojourner's Tale. Um, these perks really complement the weapon. These perks benefit the playstyle. So target acquisition, aim down sight speed, more damage when you're surrounded. So, you know, it's a, it's a slug, so obviously you want to have aim down sight speed. But then also, just playing with shotguns, you want to have quick draw. And I feel like shotguns out of any weapon are going to get the biggest buff from Adrenaline Junkie when they buff it. We don't know how they're going to buff it, but just the handling alone, I'm going to keep both of these. If I had to delete one, it would be this one. Solar Scar, uh, Guardian, Guarding while receiving damage generates class ability energy. That is interesting, and I'm sure you could get into some shenanigans if you were good with guarding and you actually remembered to do it, but seldom do I ever remember to do that, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to keep this one because it's my adept, and I'm going to keep this one because it has Borefold. I hate this weapon, Sorrow's Verse. It is awful, it is terrible, and I hate it so much. Um, I would delete all of these. But if we have to keep some, we'll just take a look at them. Uh, Adrenaline Junkie, again, keeping it because it's going to get buffed. We want to look at what it looks like. Uh, I mean, Feeding Frenzy, multi color Clip, sure. Surplus Rampage is a great combination for any weapon. But this is basically an SMG. I hate it. I would delete all of these. I would delete all of them. Just don't, I don't like it. You know, actually, this one might be the best out of all of them, just because of surplus. It might boost it to be a better weapon. Uh, spoiler alert, one of the only sidearms in the game that can run osmosis. 
uh, definitely keep it if you have it. This is a good perk combination, but I'm not going to use it because I don't like the archetype. But if I'm forced to use a sidearm, I'm going to use my osmosis one. The stochastic variable, um, surplus with elemental capacitor, very interesting roll. And then this is just a good, I mean, this is a good damage roll. Uh, my successions, we already talked about my osmosis one, so we're obviously keeping that one. And then we're going to keep the Vorpal one, because Vorpal on snipers is cracked. Um, auto loading, sorry. Feeding Frenzy box breathing versus field prep box breathing. So now the charge time, which is always going to be interesting. And then Genesis. So my issue with this, right, is you've got six in the mag, seven in the mag. You're probably going to break the shield on burst one. So it's going to reload from reserves on burst one. So essentially, this gives you eight bullets. And that's cool, but it doesn't give us the impact that Genesis on a rocket launcher does, especially if you have Genesis and Demolitionist, because in that scenario, you shoot the first rocket, break shield, get reload, throw a grenade, get reload. So you essentially shoot three rockets for the cost of one grenade. Whereas here, you're getting one bullet back, and your fourth perk is Kill Clip, which relies on a manual reload. So I don't value Genesis on this weapon. Get rid of it. I do like this. Field Prep is going to give you more bullets in reserve, but I feel like I value the charge time more than the handling. That being said... Handling with field prep. Actually, that could work. I'll keep it and try it out. It might be fun. Which one was this? Yeah, we're going to keep that one. The Decide. Ooh, got some fancy perks here, but we got a dupe. Which one's better? We got an almost exact dupe. Wow. The only difference is the reload and then this perk here. Um, hmm. I don't necessarily care about the one extra bullet, so if we put Accurized on that, this one gets better range. Because reasons? Well, this should be the same now, right? Yeah. That should be the exact same. So it comes down to being reload speed or stability at that point. Um... Do you need stability on a pellet shotgun? No, you don't. Um, one, two, punch. I don't have a lot of these. I'll keep that, and I'll keep this one. Easy. My messengers. Uh, gotta keep your despacitos. And, I mean, I love that it has rapid hit. I hate that it has one for all. It does have armor piercing, but I have better armor piercing pulses, so we'll get rid of that one. We'll infuse it. Why not? Uh, the number. This weapon, for me, is okay, but subpar compared to other arc autos, specifically arc logic. So, if I were to keep one, it would be this, and I would get rid of this. Although, it does have really nice stats across the board. Uh, what happens when we do this? Not... Mm, Hmm. So, you know, this is of a range master work that's not complete. Yeah, we're going to get rid of this one. We'll keep the other one. Ah, one of my few thrash weapons. We're going to have to keep that. And look at our pulses to look at our other disruption break weapons. Mm. 
We should have a Jean 7 in here, yeah? Where did that go? There it is. So we don't necessarily need disruption break on this one. So we're going to get rid of that. Just the John 7 is better. It's an arc pulse that has disruption break, firefly, and armor piercing rounds. I'm going to value that more than ricochet because I'm not trying to use... I mean, yeah, ricochet is a great perk for PvP, but I'm not going to use disruption break with that. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do with that. Threaded Needle, um, this is an insane combination, definitely keeping that. Auto-loading and multi-kill clip, the perks don't work together, unfortunately. So, yeah, you're getting the benefit of the charge time and the enhanced battery, but I'm not going to use it over this one, so we're going to get rid of that. My Volpeculas. I hate this weapon. Do you want to know why I hate this weapon? Because it's the other option you get for the Wolf Tone Draw, my favorite weapon of the current season. And I've already picked my favorites. These are good rolls too. Honestly, I think these are left over because I deleted 50 of them already, so I'm going to keep these for now. Uh, these two obviously are the ones I really wanted. And now my Wolf Tone draws. So, the thing about Wolf Tone Draw, I am hunting. I'm hunting and searching for Elastic String, Fiberglass Arrow Shaft, Archer's Tempo, Harmony or Frenzy, or Adagio, but honestly Frenzy, with a Draw Time Masterwork. You can see I got very close here, and here, and sort of here, I got all the perks on this, well, no, I got all the perks on this one, just the wrong masterwork. So, this one I'm keeping because it has Firefly and the perks I like. This one I'm keeping because it is almost perfect, it just needs to have Rapid hit or rip archer's tempo. Um, this actually surprised me. Ensemble, this is this is the role, it just needs a different third column. But ensemble is actually super interesting because in trials, you're almost always near your team. So when you have quick access sling, ensemble, and then the handling on your gauntlets for bow and um, hand cannon, the speed at which you can shoot switch back to your primary after shooting an arrow with ensemble is insane. Um, shoot to loot with dragonfly, super interesting combination. Dragonfly will proc shoot to loot, so um, that's a keeper. Uh, I think I was supposed to junk this one because it doesn't... It, it's almost perfect. It really is. It just needs elastic string. But because it doesn't have elastic string, it will never get down to the draw time I want it to have. So because of that, it gets junked. Um, Adagio Rapid... Sorry, I keep on saying rapid hit. It's Archer's Tempo for bows. So, Adagio, it decreases your draw time. Rapid hit increases your draw time. This increases your damage at the cost of the draw time. They almost line up to where you can use them together. It's an interesting combination. I'm keeping it for now, but don't necessarily like it too much. This is also... This is... Honestly, the next best thing 
you know, it's elastic string, fiberglass, purchase tempo, harmony, with accuracy master part, masterwork. This would be my next choice after draw time. If I finally get this roll with a draw time masterwork and I find that archer's tempo in combination with the draw time masterwork and elastic string make the draw time feel too weird, I would just use this one instead. This would be my go to. So, my favorite that one. Which ones haven't I tagged? Um, oh, here we go. Uh, this is a dupe with an extra roll on it. And I do not value reload on bows. The reason for that being is it only modifies the speed at which you notch the arrow to the bow. So I'm going to junk that one, and I'm going to keep that one. Stability. I don't know this for sure, but I theorize it would be a simple test. We just have to go on game and look. Um... I think it actually lets you hold the bow longer, like hold the shot, um, but I don't know that for sure. Um, cornered is the opposite of ensemble, um, and the opposite. Threat detector increases handling and stability and reload. Cornered increases draw time. So I'm actually super curious to play around with this, especially since it has almost the perfect roll. Almost. Um, but I don't necessarily like it too much. Um, I would rather use the other perks. So there we go. We made it through 150 some odd items. Um, gave you my thought process on everything. Um, and now all my weapons are tagged again. And if we look at our tag junk, 37 items junked. And then if we look, if we add or infuse, because we did that as well, we're up to 47. I know we took a while, but. I was talking the whole time. Obviously, it's not going to take that long. Every single time you do it, and now that you've done it, these tags will persist, and you'll only have to tag new items. So when things come through, you're just going to do your not tagged. Uh, and obviously, it's going to show my armor, but you know, whenever you get new things, when they come into your inventory, you just run the not tagged after you've done this, and it'll be really easy to compare new items. Um, so, that's pretty much it for weapons. Um, I feel weapons are a really easy starter point in clearing your vault out. Uh, if you haven't ever done a mass wipe of your vault before, you might save yourself up to 100 items. For armor, it's quite a bit more involved. Um, I usually use thir other third-party tools. I usually use a combination of D2 armor picker and um, D2 recipes to go through armor pieces as well as looking at the loadout optimizer. Um, I'm going to upload a video pretty soon about the stat clustering feature on D2 armory. Uh, it, it really changes the game on cataloging gear, which when I started this video, I made the terrible mistake of clearing armor tags as well, which hurts my soul. Um, also, you don't need more than four class items. Um, and I'm contradicting that in here because I have more than four class items, but that's just because I haven't, I haven't cleaned them. I don't feel like it right now. Because I just filtered through a hundred and some weapons. Um, I did learn a few new things today, though. Uh, if you go into the search bar, do is stat lower, and it's going to search for items that just in their base form have lower stat values than gear you already have, right? So.
I was led to believe when I found this that this would mean that you would have a duplicate of this piece that would have these values, but would just have higher values, which just isn't true because this has, you know, a 16 in intellect. So maybe it does. I would like to know how you could force compare it to the item that it's actually looking for, because in the patch notes it says that it actually compares to another item. So I guess I'll look at that some more and try and see what that's talking about. But as far as I understand, this item is safe to infuse um, with the search function is stat lower. Um, which seems right, because I mean, look at these totals. I don't know why this is marked keep. I think it's because I marked it as keep all dupe in the last search function when I didn't protect weapons like an idiot. But yeah, um, oh, another another one for you guys. It's really fast and easy. Just do is armor or is weapon is blue. And you can just mess junk that. You don't even have to tag it as junk. You can just pull it. You can just pull it straight to your character, right? Transfer search is armor. But then, you know, you could just add that to your trash queue just by tagging as junk and then pulling the, the junk tag. So, I know 45 items isn't a lot uh, for an hour's worth of work, but it doesn't take that long all the time. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming. Um, that was the weapon cleaning video. I'll be doing another deep dive into how to clean armor, which is a much more involved process. You can't just, oh, this has more than that one. Brr. It means it's better. Uh, unfortunately, armor stats are much more complicated than that. So I, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you have any questions, um, you can just I'll be uploading this to YouTube, so you can look out for that and um, you can post them there. But other than that, I uh, hope to see you uh, out in Destiny, and uh, I hope your your vaults get a little lighter. Um, if in this, or if Bungie ever decides to expand our space. Take care.